And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. Hey guys, Fat Preacher Man here, and this is another do-it-yourself video where me and my family are doing stuff ourselves, and we're putting together a shed today. And this is from Sears Craftsman. Um, this is actually the second time we put together a shed, but this is a um, hard plastic one. The other shed, if you find one of our videos, is called Spider Shed and Hawks Above, is actually uh, failing. It's falling apart. Um, don't know if it's due to age or just poor design, poor quality, but whatever. Okay, here's the base. It comes with a nice sturdy base, and then these are all the parts taken out of the box. Um, and I will say beforehand, you know, we've completed the shed. It's all up and running. And parts of this video I have sped up. So you can see all the parts are nicely labeled. I will give them that very nicely labeled. Um, and I'm overall pleased with the shed. But the putting together process, you got to have two to three people. Preferably three people or more to help you with this. I, I've put together a lot of stuff where they say you need two people. Um by myself not boasting but just truth and this is one where if my kids weren't out here helping me I couldn't have done it so I thank God for them they were a blessing and we got it done anyway the shed itself isn't huge but it's enough just like for our lawnmower which is good and maybe a few other things um, I was concerned when I saw it online right here this is interesting to me it comes with this little clear plexiglass thing it tells you which side goes out don't know why that matters but oh well um, because you couldn't really see this in the video online when we were ordering it. But, yes, it does come with this. This is one of the sped up parts. Some of the parts will be normal speed. Some will be uh, sped up. I think this is four times speed. So, excuse me. Um, you know, and so this is good because, you know, you want to keep bugs out and stuff like that. And also it has vents on the headers. Um, but as you'll see in a few minutes when we get there, they give you screen mesh to put over that to cover it. Um, they give you instructions on how if you want to uh, attach it to a wooden base or if you want to attach it to concrete. Ours is going to be sitting on a concrete slab that I got out back. Um, and then once we get this done next week, we'll be, because uh, they only do uh, bulk trash pickup in our neighborhood once a week. So we're going to have to tear down the other shed after this, after we move the stuff over and uh, put it out there. Anyway, this, so this is the, both the doors finished. I didn't want to bore you seeing me screw it all on, but this is how it looks. You know, so just... And again, most of the instructions are pretty straightforward. They labeled it nicely, but some of the stuff, as we get it to it, it it's uh, uh, the, the hardest parts that I had was with the roof, uh, which the instructions are clear, um, but it's just difficult, you know, because you're you're at a disadvantage. Me, I'm not that tall. I'm only five foot eight and a half, maybe. Um, so try to pull down the roof, and and it snaps into place, and then you got to screw it. So. And you got to be overhead. And I started too late in the day. We ran out of daylight. So, unfortunately, I can't show you all the procedures. But most of the pretty straightforward ones, some that you might have questions about. Um, the locking mechanisms are pretty good They're on this here. This helps keep one of the doors secure. Um, and then the other door, and it has a nice little padlock handle place thing. And that snaps over. That's pretty cool. And there's one on the bottom, too. Um, again, here's the header. Um, this part right here is support a cross beam from the header to, to, to the to, from the front to the back. Um, and I'll show you why I actually put it on, but to be honest with you, I took it off because I was having so much trouble getting the roof on that I just took it off. And I think the roof will actually support it without it because um, it seems pretty sturdy. And if I have any trouble or if it fails, I'll let you know. But I took mine out, and it's not actually installed. But I will show you what I did when I did install it in the video. Um, but the other major problem I had was with um, the hinges. The hinges are just not intuitive of, at all. They, 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 the instructions for them are, are piss poor. Um, and, and it took me a while to figure it out. That's one of the reasons we ended up going into it late. Good thing about it, though, because we were out there so late, I ended up finding out one of my floodlights was out. So yay for that. Um, and the mesh is, you know, pretty straightforward. You just kind of screw it on. Just take your time because it's just a basic screen. So if you screw it on too fast, it will rip. So just take your time. It might even be better to use a, a, a hand, um, a hand, regular hand screwdriver instead of, instead of a, you know, a drill. But I am fat for a reason, you know, partly because I'm lazy. Anyway, so 
Again, this is something you do the front and back. They both have little vents to help, you know, circulate air and not let things overheat. And at the same time, they want to keep bugs out. And they're also designed so that normal rainwater... Okay, this is important. Um, they give you a specific order to do this, and you really need to follow it. And when you do this, you set those into the channel, and then it slides. And he says you need a rubber malleted hammer, um, and I agree with him. You know, uh, actually, it was interesting because my wife, the day before, had just bought one. So praise God for that. And we had one, but I don't know where it was, but I found the one she had bought. She picked it up when we went by the hardware store. So uh, it was in the clearance bin. So praise God for that. That was right on time. And then once you get the slide part in, the other part will snap in like that. And here we are. All the walls are erected. Um, the two sides, the two fronts, and the one back. And then the big space in the middle is for the doors. Now these, these screws are interesting. It looks like uh, once they're in, they're not going to come out because they have these little attachments on them that I just pointed out. They give you a little hex key screw, screwdriver thing, which is pretty interesting. Easy to use. That one's already in. Put this one in. And you just turn it. And once you start getting it in there, it's as it locks, you'll feel it snapping into place, um, which is pretty good. And that's it. So you just screw them all in. Pretty straightforward. So that way they all lock to each other. Now, here I put up the, the rear. And once that snaps in, then you put this crossbar across it and screw the crossbar to it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, this is not the part I was talking about for the other part. This is just a support to keep it attached, to keep the roof attached, and to give it some more strength. And then you do the same thing across the front. Here's the front done. And then you're supposed to put in this cross-section bar, which in and, in and of itself is a pain, too, putting, trying to put the bar in. Because it, it's like, just, just barely fits. You're supposed to slide it back far enough to get in the uh, bolts, and then bolt it in place. Which I did, and then I was having such a hard time with the roof going on that I, I went back and I took it off, and then I redid the roof, and the roof worked. Thank God for that. Okay, here it is with the roof. Sorry I didn't show the roof, but it was such a struggle and took so long, I, I, I couldn't do it. Anyway, the roof has to slide and snap on, and then you screw it down in place and screw the roof to each other, and you have to screw it up from the inside, and you screw it from the inside in six different places, no screws from the outside. The one piece sits on top of each other, and again, they label it really well, so it's not that confusing. Um, the doors, again, I said the hinges were really uh, counterintuitive, so, um, I don't have any install of that, but I will show you here what they look like. Here's the finished doors, the handles, here's a little padlock I have. Um, and it opens pretty easy. And this is the finished product. So overall, I'm pretty pleased. Again, like I said, it's not, uh, it's not perfect, um, but it'll do for us. It is, does seem a little smaller than it looked on the package and in ordering, but if it'll fit for you, it'll work. If you got any questions, if you got one or one similar, uh, leave comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Jesus bless you, and good gaming. Behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him.